To God be the glory. Gerald Reed gets a long-awaited hug from his mother this afternoon following his release from Statesville Prison. He spent more than three decades in prison for a crime he says he was forced into confessing. WGN's Megan Dwyer live outside the prison near Joliet where that reunion happened this afternoon. Megan? Yeah, Ben and Lourdes, Gerald Reed today saying he does not want his release to be in vain. He wants to help others who are in his shoes. Freedom! 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 After 30 years of phone calls behind glass, today Gerald Reed came home to hug his mother. To God be the glory. Thursday night, Governor J.B. Pritzker commuted Reed's life sentence to time served. Oh, God. <laughs> his family, a bit afraid it was an April Fool's joke. We love you. We love you. Reed's lawyers had asked for an outright pardon, but the governor didn't go that far. I'm going to stand up against the system That's right. That's right. because the system is wrong. Reed, now 57 years old, was sentenced to life in prison in 1990 after confessing to the murder of 58-year-old Willie Williams and 29-year-old Pamela Powers. I want to prove to the system that I didn't do it. Activists from all over took an interest in the case, saying Reed was a victim of police brutality, beaten into a confession. Reed, Reed. In 2018, his complicated legal battle became even more confusing when a judge threw out his confession, saying he was the victim of police torture under now disgraced former Chicago police commander John Burge. Not only was the confession bogus and tortured, but that other uh, involvements of these detectives were also uh, resulted in uh, coercion and just phony testimony, which got him, thir took 30 years of his life. But prosecutors vowed to bring him to trial again, saying there was still evidence of his guilt. He has stayed in prison since, waiting for a new trial until today. Because I would not say I'm guilty to something that I didn't do. Even out of prison, his double murder conviction still stands. He and his lawyers will work on getting it vacated eventually. But for today, he will focus on what's right in front of him, his family. And I never gave up. And his freedom. We are fighting for all of them. And I will not rest until every last one that is tortured or wrongfully convicted is out of prison. We just getting started. So Reed's new home tonight will be in Naperville. He'll be staying with some family. Uh, the family of the victims, the murder victims in this case tonight, they are not happy. They say they do feel like there is still evidence of Reed's guilt. I'm live tonight at Stateville Correctional Center. Megan Dwyer, WGN News.